Hello everyone! Welcome to another Riverside Wandering. Those of you who have seen my previous Riverside ones are familiar with this site, but it's beautiful nonetheless. The bridge you can see in the distance is called Chiswick Bridge. And today I'm gonna go into the opposite direction. But before we turn completely, let's admire the autumnal colors on the other side it's so beautiful so i'm gonna take you wandering down that bridge there that one is called barnes bridge and we are gonna go across it and down to the other side so it's been a while i've been that way and um, i've been waiting for good weather <laughs> today it's um, just a few hours after it rained so it's still quite wet everywhere and the leaves are not crunching but sloshing <laughs> but it's beautiful enough now to go for a wander some of the folk are having some fun with their canoeing or kayak I never know which is which so sorry about that look there's two different teams um, anyway um, the tide just started to go out so in about an hour or so we should have the low tide on the river Thames I'm not sure if you guys remember this tree under which I found a while back a ginormous dead fish so <laughs> if you're curious to see it just scroll back on the list and find the riverside wandering in which you can see it river is still quite clean just want to show you the boat activity is not quite completely back but it is back yet the river still looks quite clean which is nice I can see some empty shells and there's a crab claw there see I saw some tiny little shrimpies but let's go and explore further down the river I like that leaf floating <laughs> it's quite interesting because this side is quite calm and just half a meter in you can see the water drifting really speedily still so yep interesting stuff all right as you can see I can't walk past because when the tide is low you can actually walk from where I am at the moment all the way down to Barnes Bridge and further but that's not possible right now so I will need to go up the stairs and onto the embankment there and I'll pick it up when I see something interesting to show you <laughs> Okay, we are up and continuing up here as you can see, look, it's still very wet and muddy. When the tide is really high, <laughs> the water comes all the way up here and covers everything, which is fun to watch, but not fun if you plan to have a walk this way. <laughs> yeah. There's still a lot of traffic noise because there's a road not too far from us and I'm sure that we will have a lot of airplane noise as usual <laughs> but what can you do? Let's look at some falling leaves I love the autumnal colors look at that so beautiful. I like these little passageways. They're always so pretty. But I stopped because look what I found. All over on the wall 
there's a lot of moss and lichens as well as I said the water from the river comes and touches the wall here <laughs> it's quite a distance look the river is down there and we are up here but oh this moss is so beautiful focus please let's pet it <laughs> it does feel soft and damp let's go by the moss a bit Let's look at you. And here's a noisy airplane. If anybody missed it, <laughs> I haven't. Okay, I walked a bit further up. We are getting closer to Barnes Bridge, which is there. And uh, what I wanted to show you is the stuff that the river actually leaves on the side of the embankment. All sorts of broken branches and things, and obviously a lot of human rubbish, plastic bits and other stuff. Which is not nice to see. I know that there are teams in different parts of London that are made out of volunteers that walk on the side of the river and clean up the leftover rubbish. But I've never seen them in this area. <laughs> so, don't know if they are active here. But let's continue going towards the bridge. Now I didn't get really far because I want to show you something that I like to call resilience and the willingness to live. Look at this little bit of ivy that a long time ago cracked through the wall and it found a way look to live. Make it so beautiful and it's changing color. Mm -hmm. I'm always impressed by these plants that just want to survive and live, <laughs> and they find a way to do so. Cool, more autumnal colors. The light is not ideal, but here, this ivy is actually absolutely gorgeous. I'll try to go there. Oops. It's a lot of mud. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. in the mud. Oh, just wanted to show you this. And you too, because you're very pretty. And back to the mud. <laughs> Almost at the bridge. Uh, there's quite a lot of people coming and going and cycling. So I'm trying to avoid folk as much as possible. It's getting sunnier. Yay! We had so much rain lately. I'm fed up with it. Also, as we are in the middle of autumn in England, you will probably be seeing this later than that. Um, it's getting dark really, really early. So, sadly, my usual walks after work 
well they still happen but not as usually planned and also because it gets dark I can't really film anything <laughs> so I don't have a camera crew at all <laughs> the equipment so it's too dark to film stuff but yeah we are just a few meters away from Barnes Bridge and I'm gonna pick it up when I'm on it or if I get to manage to go down there to the beach a bit let's see Okay, I'm picking up from here because I wanted to show you a little bit of the underside of the bridge. It's a pretty cool bridge. There's a road on it and also a um, railway line that crosses through. And there's quite a lot of pigeons having their homes under there. I don't know what you can see. Yeah, I, I think, do you know, I think I did some walking around there when I was like... As I said, <laughs> there's loads of other people passing by. Mm. So you might hear some interesting conversation snippets. This is a cool bridge. I like bridges. That's tough. Uh, the sun was in my eyes, so I actually couldn't see what I'm filming. Oh, there we go. Uh, I said it wrong. There is one part for um, people to walk and the train. There is no space for cars on this bridge, so yeah. <laughs> They're all different. The view is amazing. Okay, as the water's receding, I'm gonna walk down there a little bit because in the distance, oh yeah, that's the edge of Barnes, it's really beautiful. It's like a lovely village of London. But what I wanted to say is that down there, I can see quite a lot of birds. And I think there's a few cormorants as well, which I've not seen up close for a while. So I'm gonna try and get there. Oh. Just to show you, this is a typical double-decker Rondon red bus, <laughs> which normally it should not be here, but as it's the weekend, uh, the trains are not working again, so these double-decker buses are the substitutes, and they're trying to help folk. To get where they want to. Okay, let's see the bridge from here. Da -da -da. Okay, it's in the shade now, so it doesn't look as spectacular as from the other side. But let's go and explore. Bye. That was the first birdie up close. Let's go and try to see some more. Yep, there's some Canada geese and three cormorants and lots of gulls and things. I hope they will allow me to get fairly close before anything flies away so I can show them to you. Okay, I managed to get a bit closer. I don't want to get too close. Well, I would like to, but I don't want to frighten them away. But I think they're already on the move. Come on, guys, I want to see you. Uh, well, it's been closer than most times. I do get to see them, so. I'm still happy, but they're going. Let's see what's floating down the river. 
there's loads of fallen leaves. Other than all the car and airplane noises, it's so beautiful and serene here. I love it. If I could drown out those noises, it would be perfect. But you can't have it all, can you? So pretty. Just across us, there is a school boat club. There's loads of boat clubs all going up and down the river Thames. So some of them belong to school, some of them are some other bits and bobs. But there's loads, so you can see a lot of people practicing their canoeing and stuff. It's quite fun to watch. Especially the beginners. <laughs> but yeah. Good for them. There's loads of little gulls all the way down, as far as you can see. They're really cute. And for once, they're very quiet because <laughs> they usually are the masters of making a proper racket. <laughs> but now, not even a peep. Let's try and see them floating. No, no, no. He's gone. And the other one too. Okay. I was trying to turn over a few stones to see what's underneath. Thing is that Thames mud is so fine that oops, you see it's tiny particles that <laughs> make the visibility very precarious <laughs> but there's tiny shrimps and leeches and other things I think I showed them to you before there's all sorts of shells Water. What else was there? Oh yeah, here. That is one big hex stone. Shape is not the nicest, but it's very large. So I'm gonna show it to you. Look at that. Oh, sorry, the sun is in my eyes and I can't see. There, you can see right through it. It's huge. I wouldn't want to wear that as a necklace. <laughs> and let's let this beautiful leaf. Oh no! <laughs> it went the wrong way. I wanted it to float away. Never mind. I'm sure it will eventually. What else is there? Loads of shells. That one, and little tiny ones. A few months ago, there were millions and millions of tiny, tiny shells. I've never seen anything like it. I wonder how many of them survived and got to grow. Oh, look, another hex store. This is in the water. Oh. Are you all the way through? No, it just has a little dent. It doesn't have a proper hole. Look pretty. Okay, let's trot in the water for a bit. I love it. It's cold, so it's good to have belly boots on. 
even through them. I can feel the water. Ah. Let's make some ripples. Hey, lovely. Doggies. Now, there's a story with this. A few months ago, in this area, I have encountered two grown ups and 18 goslings. If it was just one family or they were responsible for a nursery of goslings, I have no idea. But I am pretty sure that these are the same ones, all grown up now. So it's lovely to see. And they're still here. They're beautiful. There's more further down. But these ones were sticking together. So as I said, I am quite positive that it's them. They were really, really cute. I, I saw them as, well, they were not freshly hatched babies, but maybe a few weeks old and then later as well. There's a few short videos of them. Uh, you can check out if you want. But anyway, I'm really happy because I saw a lot of um, sadness in Richmond Park at the ponds. Little um, goslings and ducklings I was following over the course of a few months who sadly are no more so it's nice to see the ones that made it came down which is there in the distance I'm just pottering about here it's so lovely so yeah I'll pick it up when I see something interesting again came closer to that thing a bit they are at ease with me, so just wanted to have a look at them. They're beautiful guys. Hope you'll make it through the winter. And I get to see you with your own families next year. <laughs> Decided to go for a little swim. Nicely lined up, as geese tend to do. <laughs> Bye guys. I have showed you shells before, but I just spotted loads here. At the same type, lots, lots, lots. Look at that. Everywhere. And is there anything under you? Something's moving there, but as I said, the mud is not making it easy to see what's going on. Hmm. Okay, there's empty winter shells. Look at that one, it's so cute. What else? There's loads of shells. What happened here? Looks like someone had a feast. <laughs> Look at that color. <laughs> it's quite
quite amazing. There's a green one there. And this red, red one is absolutely striking. Okay, we are at low tide now, so as you can see, the geese have spots where they can stay above the water <laughs> in the middle of the river I'm just trying to show you look how the beach has extended so it's gonna be like this for about an hour which is great because I can walk up and down without being stranded <laughs> that's the last thing you want to you guys I hope you enjoy this wandering by the River Thames and I wish you all a really good week or whatever's left of it I'm never sure <laughs> what's yet still to come so anyway just have a lovely day or evening and see you at the next wandering bye from the River Thames <laughs>